All right, let's begin with pranayama, deep breathing. Bring your feet together in the middle of your mat and your towel, toes and heels touching. Interlace your 10 fingers, knuckles underneath your chin, thumbs against your throat. Relax your shoulders and have a great class today. Start please, inhale through your nose. Make the snoring sound, chin down, elbows up. Keep inhaling, full lungs. Exhale, head up. Push your head all the way back and stretch your elbows forward, lungs empty. Inhale, head down, chin down, elbows up. Breathe in as much, as deep and as slow as possible. Yes, keep inhaling. Exhale, head up. Push your head back without backward bending. Keep your chest lifted and look back behind you, elbows touch. Inhale, head down. One, two. Three, four, five, six, full lungs. Good, exhale, head up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Keep exhaling, inhale, head down. Nice and slow, slow breath, slow movements. Warming up your body from the inside out, full lungs. Exhale, head up, very slowly push your head back. Nice job moving, super slow, everybody. That's the way, warming up your muscles. Elbows, touch, inhale, head down. Chin down, look forward, elbows up, stretch up taller, elbows up, keep inhaling, full lungs. Exhale, head up, stay lifted as you push your head all the way back. Keep your eyes open and look back behind you. Elbows, touch, inhale, head down. One. Three, four, five, six, full lungs. Good, Abel. Exhale, head up. One, two, three, four, five, six, and empty your lungs all the way. Inhale, head down, fill it up again. Suck your stomach in, stomach, stomach, stomach. Stretch your lungs even bigger, full lungs. Exhale, head up, push your head all the way back. Keep your knuckles connected to your throat. Therapeutic pressure, knuckles against throat, elbows touch, inhale, head down. Let's do four more breaths. Suck your stomach in and stretch your lungs. Feel your rib cage stretching, expanding as you take in more air. That's it, Martha, exhale, head up, push your head back. Keep your stomach in tight, hips tight, legs tight and body weight in the heels. Nice straight legs, Mary, good, elbows touch. Inhale, head down, last three. Go deeper, suck your stomach in, inflate your whole chest, stretch your lungs more, full lungs. Exhale, head up, stay lifted, straight spines, push your head all the way back. Make your lungs empty, inhale, last two. Suck your stomach in, squeeze your legs, Take in even more air at the top, full lungs. Good, Samuel, exhale, head up. Nice high elbows you have. Push your head back. Keep your elbows up as you stretch them forward. That's it, keep exhaling. Let's do one more breath. Inhale, head down. Biggest, deepest breath you've taken so far. Keep inhaling, keep inhaling, full lungs. Exhale, head up. Push your head way back. Keep exhaling. Very good, that's enough. Arms down by your sides. First posture, half moon pose. Feet together, toes and heels touching. Arms of your head sideways, palms together. Interlace your fingers and release your index fingers. Cross your thumbs. Get a nice tight grip. Stretch up out of your waist and stretch right and left a few times. You stretch to the right and stretch to the left. Feel your abdominal muscles stretching out here. Right, left, right, left, a few times. When you stop in the middle, elbows locked, arms always touching with your ears, no gap between biceps, arms, and ears. Push your hips a little bit forward and bring your upper body back. Throughout the posture, keep the body weight in your heels. Take a deep breath. Full lungs, stretch up out of your waist, touch the ceiling slowly, come down to the right. 
keeping your arms and your legs straight. Push your hips out to the left beyond your flexibility. Create a deep stretch all over the left side of your body. Come down and push. Hips more forward, upper body back, body weight in your heels. Bring your left hip forward, right shoulder forward, stomach in, come down, push, push, push. Inhale, breathing, come up, stop in the middle. Take another deep breath, full lungs, and stretch up out of your waist, touch the ceiling slowly, come down to the left. Keeping your arms and your legs very straight, come down to the left, push your hips out to the right, beyond your flexibility, create a deep stretch all over right side of your body, stomach in, come down and push, hips more forward, upper body back, body weight in your heels so your leg muscles contract, bring your right hip forward, left shoulder forward, come down, push, come down, push, come down, push, inhale, breathing, come up, very nice everybody, back bending, keep your arms there and drop your head back as far as it goes, keep your eyes open, Keep the body weight in your heels. Lift your chest up and move your arms back. Back bend up and out of your straight legs. Push down through your heels. Push your chest up higher. Move your arms back. Eyes open, inhale, push your stomach, legs, hips more forward, arms back. Look back, fall back, way back, go back, more back. Inhale, breathing, and come up. Stop in the middle, suck your stomach in, bend your knees and gently go forward. Bend your knees enough so that you can put both hands on the floor, let your head drop all the way down. Feels nice to let the full weight of your head just hang down, shake it out, bend your knees. Whatever feels good for you, lower back nice and loose. Hands to feet pose, grab your heels from behind, step on all five fingers of each hand, pinky fingers touching each other side by side, elbows behind your legs on your calf muscles throughout the entire posture. Don't lose the grip. Pull up on your heels as hard as possible. Stretch your upper body down from your lower spine towards the floor. Bend your knees enough so that you can really put your stomach on your thighs, yes chest on your knees, face on your legs below your knees, so that from the side, no gaps anywhere. Maintain that compression as you breathe, eyes open, roll forward, body weight in your toes, push your knees back and stretch your spine down even longer. Inhale, slowly come back up, arms and head together. That's it, Sharon, very nice. Stretch all the way back up and arms down by your sides. Breathe in and out through your nose. Second set, feet together, toes and heels touching, arms over your head sideways, palms together. Get a nice tight grip. You keep your wrists connected so you can really stretch your shoulders. Take a deep breath, stretch up out of your waist, touch the ceiling and slowly come down to the right. Push, push, push your hips out to the left. Second set, you can go for a little deeper stretch. Come down more to the right, push hips out more to the left. Feel whole left side of your body stretching, stomach in, body weight in your heels. Right shoulder forward to open up your chest, breathe and come down to your maximum. Push, come down, push, come down, push. Inhale, breathing, come up. Nice straight arms, Keiko, good. Take a deep breath, stretch up out of your waist, touch the ceiling, slowly come down to the left. And push, push, push your hips out to the right. See if you can feel more muscles of your abdomen stretching as you come down deeper, push your hips out to the right, body weight in your heels, stomach in. Left shoulder forward, opening up your chest, Squeeze your palms, breathe, and come down to your maximum. Push, come down, push, come down, push. Inhale, breathing, come back up, stop in the middle. Back bending, leave your arms there and drop your head back. 
take a moment to feel that line between your heels and your index fingers. You stretch straight up, up, up through that line and then move your arms back. Back bend up, up, up and out of your heels. Push down through your legs, push your chest up even higher, push your throat up even higher, move your arms back, eyes open, inhale, push your stomach, legs, hips more forward, go for it with the arms, squeeze your palms, arms back, look back, fall back, way back, go back, more back, inhale, come up, nice mark, suck your stomach in, bend your knees, gently go forward. This always feels so great. Bend your knees, put your hands on the floor, let your head drop all the way down, shake it out, bend your knees, lower back nice and loose. Hands to feet pose, second set. Grab your heels from behind, step on all five fingers of each hand, elbows behind your legs, pull up on your heels as hard as possible. Stretch your upper body down, down, down from your lower spine towards the floor. Bend your knees so you can really press upper body against your legs. You breathe your stomach against the pressure of your thighs. Helps to support the stretch of your lower back. Roll forward, body weight in your toes. Keep breathing, stay here. Push your knees back, feel that deep stretch all over the backs of your legs. Body weight in the toes, stretch your spine down longer. Inhale, slowly come back up with your stomach pulled in, arms and head together. Nice, Marty. Arms down by your sides. And let's do awkward pose, warming up the legs. Right foot step to the right, six inches between toes and heels. Your feet parallel like train tracks right below your hips. Arms up parallel to the floor. Keep five fingers together touching each other. Elbows locked, triceps tight, contracted. Suck your stomach in, hold it in, and sit way back into the chair behind you. Feet flat on the floor, spine straight to begin with. 100% body weight in your heels. Lift your chest up, bring your upper body back, pull your stomach in and hold it in. Stomach in, compression of your whole abdominal wall, six inches between toes, heels, knees, and hands. Sit farther back, hips behind you, lean back, fall back, way back. Inhale, come back up. Keep your arms there and press up high onto the tops of your toes. High as you can, come up onto the balls of your feet. Try to stay this high up on the toes. Sit down on top of your toes. Spine straight, stomach in. Sit down halfway until your hips are in the chair. Way to get right into it, Ryan, so good. Come up higher on the toes, knees up towards the ceiling. Suck your lower stomach in. You're sitting right in the chair, not below the chair. Inhale, slowly come back up. Lower your heels. And for the last part, come up a little bit on the toes. Bring your knees all the way together. Suck your stomach in and slowly sit down as low as is comfortable for your knees today. Keep your knees together, knees together, knees together. Yes, Mary, good with the knees together. Continuously stretch your spine up towards the ceiling. Keep a half inch gap between hips and heels. Keep your knees together and forward towards the front. Stretch your spine up straight thighs parallel to the floor, keeping your knees together, slowly come back up. Nice control, everybody. Right foot step back, arms down by your sides. <clears throat> Eagle pose, feet together, arms over your head sideways, right arm under left arm. Cross your elbows, twist your wrists, palms together in the center of your face, Thumbs towards your face, pinky fingers towards the front mirror. Pull your elbows down, feel your shoulders stretching. Sit down all the way, hips in the chair. Bring your upper body back and stay down there. Right leg lift up and over the left leg as high as possible. Wrap your right foot around your left calf muscle. Sit down more, twist your legs like ropes. Twist your legs tighter and closer together. No gap between ankle and your calf muscle. So good, Marty. A little bit knees right, upper body left. Get feet, knees, elbows, hands, everything in one line. Sit down even lower. Pull your elbows down. Arch your upper body back at the end. Change. Feet together, 
arms over your head sideways, bring your left arm under your right arm, hook your elbows, twist your wrists, opening up shoulders, elbows, wrists, even finger joints benefit from this exercise. Pull the elbows down, sit down all the way, hips in the chair, upper body back, stay down there, left leg lift up and over the right leg as high as possible. Twist your legs like ropes, wrap your left foot around your right calf muscle. Continuously sit back and down, like you're gonna touch your hips to the wall behind you. Hips back and down, bend your knees more and squeeze your legs closer together. Feet, knees, elbows, hands, everything in one line. Pull your elbows down, arch upper body back at the end. Change, nice job everyone, feet together. Arms over your head, arms down by your sides. Looking so good, this is an awesome group. So just a reminder, you know, you take care of yourself. If you need to step away, um, do whatever you need to do, take care of yourself and let's keep going. Standing head to knee pose, feet together. Shift body weight into your left leg. Interlace your 10 fingers and pick up your right foot in front of you three inches below your toes. Pick up your foot right away and suck your stomach in, support your rounded lower back stomach in. Look forward, concentrate from start to finish on your standing leg knee, contract your thigh muscle, lift the kneecap up, body weight forward, lock the knee. Inhale, breathing slowly, gently, right leg lift up and stretch it forward until your leg is exactly parallel to the floor. That looks great, Rhonda. No higher, no lower, left leg locked, left thigh muscle contracting. Take a deep breath and push both hips forward, heel out, flex all five toes back towards your face, stomach in, bend your elbows down. Elbows touch the calf muscle, elbows go below the calf muscle. Now even more hips forward, stomach in, toes back. Change. Very nice, slowly come out, feet together. Shift the weight into your right leg, interlace your 10 fingers, pick up your left foot in front of you, three inches below your toes. Pick up your foot and really suck your stomach in, stomach in, stomach in. Look forward, concentrate on your standing leg knee. Lift the kneecap up by contracting your right thigh. Contract the thigh over and over and over again. Body weight forward, lock the knee, inhale slowly, left leg lift up. Lift your chest up to help hold your top leg up exactly parallel to the floor. You can feel how your heel is in line with your hips from the side. Hold it right there, breathe and push forward, both hips forward. Flex all five toes back towards your face, stomach in. If you're ready, bend your elbows down. Elbows go below the calf muscle. You build strength wherever you are today. Hold it there, keep breathing, kick, change. Slowly come up. With your feet together, you can do a little back bend if you want to. Push your hips forward and let your head drop back. Second set, shift the weight into your left leg. Interlace your 10 fingers and pick up your right foot right away. Try to hold this first part like a statue. Solid, still, and strong. Contract all the muscles of your left leg. Toning your leg from the inside out. Looks great, stomach in, inhale slowly, right leg lift up. Lift your chest up, hold your top leg up exactly parallel to the floor. Continuously push forward, forward, forward with both hips. Flex all five toes back towards your face, stomach in, bend your elbows down. Elbows go below calf muscle, nice Martha. Tuck your chin, look at your stomach, put forehead on the knee. Breathe and press hips forward, hips forward, hips forward. Change, slowly come on out. Great control. Last one, shift the weight into your right leg, interlace your 10 fingers, pick up your left foot. Suck your stomach in. You do so much good for your body with just this first part right here. If you fall out, you come back to this place. Practice, try again and again, suck your stomach in, contract your right thigh, lock the knee, inhale slowly, left leg, lift up. Lift your chest up, hold your leg exactly parallel to the floor, no higher, no lower. Take a deep breath and push both hips forward, heel out, toes back, stomach in, bend your elbows down, elbows go below, calf muscle, 
Go for it. Tuck your chin. Look at your stomach. Breathe. Kick. So solid. Change. Slowly come out. More hips forward. And feet together. One more little back bend if you like. Push your hips forward. Let your head drop back. And let's do standing bow pulling pose. Bring your right hand out, palm facing up. Bring your hand out to the right and grab your right ankle from the inside. All five fingers together, thumb with your index finger. Left arm up in front of you, chin close to your shoulder. Left leg locked. Bring your knees together to start. Inhale, go. Charge your body forward towards the mirror. Simultaneously kick your right leg back and up, bring your upper body down, roll down, come down, abdomen, chest parallel to the floor, and keep kicking. Feel your foot coming up higher, right above your head, two feet in one line, kick back so much, right shoulder is pulled back behind you, invisible. Left shoulder more forward, right shoulder more back, two shoulders stretching apart in opposite directions, two shoulders in one line, kicking and stretching equal, simultaneous 50-50, the harder you kick, you balance forever, and if you fall out, that's okay, jump back in, plenty of time. Body down, more body weight forward, come so far forward that you can kick farther back and up, keep kicking, kick higher, stretch forward, kick up one more time, change. Feet together. Other side, left hand out, palm facing up. Bring your hand out to the left. Grab your left ankle, five fingers together. Thumb with index finger, right arm up in front of you, chin close to your shoulder. Right leg locked, bring your knees together. Inhale, breathing, and go. Charge your body forward. Touch the front mirror simultaneously. Kick your left leg back and up. Bring your upper body down. You get the heart lower. You get the great cardiovascular benefits. Charge forward, touch the front mirror, and kick back. Left shoulder invisible behind your right shoulder. Try to stretch your shoulders apart in opposite directions even more. Charge forward through the twist of your shoulders. Right shoulder forward, look forward. Kicking and stretching equal, simultaneous, 50-50. That's good focus, Sharon. Keep charging forward, looking forward. Stretch forward, touch the front mirror, and kick higher. Kick up, kick up, kick up. One more time change. Great work, everyone. Way to stay in it, building that stamina. Take a step to the back of your mat for balancing stick. Quick 10 second posture. Great for the heart. Feet together, arms over your head, sideways palms together. Interlace your fingers, release your index fingers, cross your thumbs. Keep your arms touching with your ears. Stretch up, inhale, right leg, step forward. Lock both knees and come down until you are a capital letter T. Right away, body down, leg up, pull your stomach in flat. Shift maximum body weight forward, even more forward. Body weight forward, touch the front mirror, stretch, stretch, stretch. Inhale, step back. Awesome, Ryan. Great straight legs. Keep arms with ears, chin up, inhale, left leg, step forward. Lock both knees, come down. Capital letter T. Body down, leg up. Pull your stomach in and shift maximum body weight forward. Make sure arms are touching with your ears. Contract every single muscle. Pour it on. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Inhale, step back. And arms down by your sides. Great work. You can either turn on your mat or you can step to the side of your mat. Whatever works for your space. For standing separate leg stretching pose. Feet together. Arms over your head sideways. Right leg, step to the right, a big step, about four feet distance, arms down parallel to the floor. Two heels in one line, point your toes in a little bit, slightly pigeon toe your feet. Suck your stomach in and slowly bend your upper body down from your lower spine towards the floor. Grab your heels from the outside. Step on all five fingers of each hand, thumbs with your index fingers. If you can't grab the heels, you can grab more the outsides of your feet, or you can place your hands on the floor in front of you. Whatever works for you today is good. Pull up on your heels as hard as possible. Stretch your upper body down from your lower spine towards the floor. Shift the body weight forward into your toes. Feel how when you shift the body weight forward into your toes, 
the circulation really comes down into your head. You give yourself good benefits of being upside down. Body weight in the toes, push your knees back, deep stretch all over the backs of your legs, keep breathing, keep pulling, suck your stomach in. First your legs stretch, then your hips stretch, then your lower spine, middle spine, whole spine, stretching, eventually whole body stretching, one big circle. Pull up on the heels and stretch your spine down longer. Inhale, slowly come back up, stomach in. Right foot step back, arms down by your sides. Triangle pose, feet together, arms over your head sideways, right leg step to the right. This time, step a little bit bigger. Arms down parallel to the floor, two heels and one line. Push your hips forward, bring your upper body back. Turn your right foot out to the right all the way. Make sure two heels in one line. Inhale, bend your right knee and sit down. Bounce a couple times if, you're, if you like to help sit down all the way. Right thigh parallel to the floor. Right knee stacked above the middle of your right foot. Get down there, hips forward, upper body back. Nice, able, inhale, breathing. Move both arms at the same time. Right elbow directly in front of your right knee. Reach down and touch the toes. No pressure on your fingertips against the toes. Look up at the ceiling. Touch your chin to your shoulder. Stretch up through your left arm. Stretch down through your right arm. Arms, shoulders stretching up and down in opposite directions. Hips forward, upper body back, body weight in your heels. Pull your lower stomach in and stretch up more. Touch the ceiling, left leg locked, Left foot flat on the floor. Inhale, breathing, come back up. Nice, Marty. Turn your right foot in and turn your left foot out all the way. Two heels, one line. Inhale, bend your left knee, sit all the way down. Bounce a couple times. Sit down as low as you can today. Left thigh parallel to the floor, just like Marty is doing. Left thigh parallel to the floor, left knee over the left foot. Stay down there, inhale, move both arms at the same time. Left elbow directly in front of your left knee, and then get the hips down so that you can reach and touch your toes, no pressure on your fingertips. Look up at the ceiling, touch your chin to your shoulder. Try to keep looking up, breathing up, and stretching up the whole posture. Focus up, hips down, body up, arms, shoulders stretching in opposite directions. Push both hips forward, twist your upper body back, suck your stomach in, right leg locked, Right foot flat on the floor. Inhale, come back up. Great work, everyone. Turn your left foot in and right foot step back. Arms down by your sides. All right, standing separate leg, head to knee pose, feet together, arms over your head, palms together. Just cross your thumbs here, palms flat. Right foot step to the right, about three feet this time. Turn your body to face your right leg and push your left hip forward beyond your flexibility. Get two hips in one line, both legs straight. Stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest, look at your stomach and slowly round down. Touch your forehead to your knee. Bend your right knee as much as, you, as it takes for kneecap and forehead to connect. Forehead must touch the knee. Stretch your hands beyond the toes, Arms straight, push your fingertips firmly against the floor. Your arms are straight, just like your back leg, straight. Forehead on the knee, shift maximum body weight forward so you can drop your left hip down, two hips in one line. Lock your right knee quick a couple times at the end and slowly come back up. Stomach in, arms and head together. Nice control mark. Turn all the way around and face the other side. Face your left leg. Push your right hip forward beyond your flexibility. Get two hips in one line. Before you round down, try to stretch up taller. Stretch up, tuck your chin, and round down slowly. You create deep compression in your abdomen, and you create a big pronounced curve of your entire spine. Feels great to stretch out your back here. Touch your forehead to your knee. Bend your left knee as much as you need to. Forehead and knee must touch. Stretch your hands beyond your toes. Arms straight, back leg straight. Forehead touching with your knee. 
breathe here, a couple of breaths. Lock your left knee quick a couple times at the end and slowly come back. Face the side, right foot step back, arms down, breathe in and out through your nose. Very nice, everybody. Turn to face the front again for tree pose. Feet together, right leg lift up, pick up your right foot and bring it up high onto your body. However high you can get your foot up today is great. Hold your foot there and gently let your right knee come down. Push your hips forward as you gently press your right knee back, opening up your hips, stomach in, spine straight. Bring your right hand up to the center of your chest and balance here. You push down through your straight leg so that you can stretch up taller through your whole entire spine. Grow taller, stomach in. Change. Other side. Feet together, left leg lift up. Pick up your left foot, bring it up high onto your body. Hold your foot there and gently drop your left knee down. Push the hips forward as you press your left knee back. Stomach in, stretch up. Bring your left hand up to the center of your chest. Balance and breathe. And if your foot doesn't slip, you can bring palms together. Push down through your leg and stretch up taller, stomach in. Change. Really nice, feet together. Toe stand. Start this posture by simply looking at the floor a few feet ahead of you. Pick up your right foot again, bring it up high onto your body, wherever it feels comfortable. One or both hands to the center of your chest, suck your stomach in and slowly bend forward keeping your left leg straight. Look at the floor, reach for the floor, put your hands on the floor, put body weight into your arms, and then bend your knee, sit down on your heel. Walk your hands back, fingertips next to your hips, so you can really lift your chest up. Spine straight, stomach in, two knees in one line parallel to the floor. Bring your left hand up to the center of your chest, bring your right hand up, palms together, Test your balance, go for it. Push up off the heel, stomach in. Change hands back to the floor. Use your arms to come up, same way you went down. That's it, Martha. Way to save that balance, that's great. Change feet together, arms down by your sides. Other side, toe stand, look at the floor and pick up your left foot. Bring it up to the center of your chest. Or no, bring it up as high as it feels comfortable, looking at the floor, suck your stomach in, slowly bend forward. You can practice just going as far as you're able today. Even looking at the floor and bending forward a tiny bit builds so much strength, builds great connections in the body. That's it, Mary. Hands on the floor, bend your knee, bring your hips down, sit down on your heel. Walk your hands back, fingers Next, two hips, lift your chest up, spine straight, stomach in. Left hand up, right hand up, palms together. Balance, push up off the heel. Change, hands back to the floor. Use your arms, come up, same way you went down. You try to finish balanced in tree pose where you started change. Great work, everyone. Turn around and relax on your back for Savasana. You can adjust your camera angle if you like so that I'll be able to see you on the floor. And then lie down on your back and completely relax. Practicing letting the full weight of your body rest against the floor. The frame of your body, your bones, your muscles kind of recalibrates against the level surface here. Very therapeutic. Breathe, eyes open, two minutes.
All right, let's continue with wind removing pose. Right leg, lift up, grab your right leg two inches below the knee with 10 fingers interlaced, nice tight grip. Pull the right knee down towards your right shoulder, creating pressure in your right hip flexor. Same time, tuck your chin with your chest, look down the center of your chest, try to give yourself double chins. You shorten your throat to lengthen the back of your neck. Look down, shoulders down away from your ears, squeeze both elbows in close to your waistline and pull, hold it at your maximum, pressure in the hip and the throat, breathing normal. Change, right leg down, left leg up, hold on to your leg two inches below the knee with 10 fingers interlaced, pull left knee down towards your left shoulder, Tuck your chin with your chest, lengthen the back of your neck. Both shoulders down away from your ears and both elbows in. Feel how you are using both of your arms equally to pull the knee down. This posture is great for creating traction throughout your hands and your wrists. So if you're spending a lot of time working at the computer, typing as a lot of us are these days, this is great for that. Sort of stretches all those little bones apart, pull and change left leg down both legs lift up grab your elbows each other over your knees two inches below your knees nice tight grip compact feet together relaxed relaxed position side by side tuck your chin in a little bit so that you have length in the back of your neck look down hold on tight and breathe breath by breath your whole spine elongates towards the floor this one's great for lower back pain. Change. Relax, legs down, arms down. Savasana, 20 seconds. Toes in, heels out, palms up. You're practicing stillness, letting your circulatory system just go to town, do its thing. For the sit up, flex your feet, toes and heels together. Keep your heels on the floor. Arms over your head, thumbs crossed. Keep your arms touching with your ears the whole sit up, really using core strength. Arms and head stay together. Inhale, sit up. Exhale, grab your toes, forehead to knees. Good job. Turn around for cobra pose. Lie down on your stomach, chin out, neck flat on the floor. Place your hands underneath your shoulders, very close to your chest. Five fingers together, palms flat on the floor. Feet together and heels together like you have one leg. Don't open it. Shoulders down, elbows in, look up at the ceiling, take a deep breath, come up. Lift your upper body up off the floor, come up halfway until your rib cage is off the floor in the air, elbows 90 degree angles. Look up at the ceiling and keep coming up. Increase the stretch between your navel and your chin. Stretch your chin farther away from the floor. Great compression for your lower spine. Chest up, chest up, chest up. And slowly lower your upper body down. Turn your head to the right so your left ear, left jaw, flat against the floor and relax. 20 seconds. Same thing on your stomach, you let the full weight of your body recalibrate against the level surface of the floor. Toes in, heels out. Locust pose, arms straight, get your arms underneath your body. You try to get your palms, your wrists, and your elbows flat against the floor underneath your body. Spread your fingers apart, grab the floor with your fingertips. Bring your chin out, neck flat on the floor, look forward. Relax your left leg and contract your right leg. Inhale breathing, right leg, lift off the floor, 45 degree angle. Hold your leg right there, 45 degrees. Lock your knee and point your toes so your leg is straight, leg up, lift up, go up. 
change. Nice, Rhonda. Great straight leg. Relax your right leg. Contract your left leg. Inhale, left leg. Lift up off the floor. 45 degree angle. Contract your thigh. Lock your knee. Point your toes. Stretch your toes back like you are trying to touch the back wall with your toes. Yes, leg up. Lift up. Go up. Change. Left leg down. Turn your head in. So your mouth is down on the floor. Readjust your hands to get your elbows a little bit closer together underneath your stomach. You keep mouth and shoulders down. Take a deep breath. Go, both legs up. Come up, everybody, go up. Come up, everybody, come up. Shift the body weight forward into your upper back. Feel the muscles in your upper back engage. Shoulders down, heels together, legs up, legs up, legs up. Slowly lower down and relax. Turn your head, this time other side of your face on the floor, right ear on the floor. Rest and breathe. Full locust pose, stretch your arms straight out from your shoulders like airplane wings. Chin out, neck flat on the floor. Feet together and heels together. Just like Cobra, you have one leg. Don't open it. Try to keep your ankles touching each other side by side the whole posture. Look up at the ceiling, take a deep breath, go. Arms, body, head, leg, everything lift up off the floor. 747 taking off. Feel your heels together still. Feel your ankles together still. Look up at the ceiling, chest higher, legs up higher. Exhale, come up one more time. Slowly relax down, turn your head and let it go. Left ear on the floor, eyes open, relax. Bow pose, chin out, neck flat on the floor. Grab onto your feet two inches below your toes. Wrists straight, toes pointed. Look up at the ceiling, take a deep breath, and gently both legs kick up. Look up, kick up, kick your legs back and up. Continuously keep kicking, don't stop kicking. That's great with the knees, Amy, yes. Roll forward like a wheel to get your toes in the center from the side, keep kicking. Look up, kick up, knees in, kick up one more time, and slowly relax. Let it go, rest, turn your head. Second set, bow pose, chin out, neck flat on the floor. Grab onto your feet two inches below your toes. Five fingers together so your thumb is with your index finger. Look up at the ceiling, take a deep breath, go both legs up. Continuous kick, non-stop kick, kick. Keep kicking, look up at the ceiling, roll forward like a wheel to get your toes in the center from the side and stay there. Yes, using your leg strength and your back strength. Knees in, wrist straight, pointed toes. Look up, kick up, kick, kick, kick. Slowly lower down. Beautiful Marty, relax and breathe, Savasana. Push up off your stomach and come to the top of your mat for fixed firm pose. The healer of the knees. Start by sitting kneel down position, sitting on your heels. Then open up your feet just a little bit so that you can fit your hips right between your heels, right between your ankles. Tops of your feet flat on the floor, toes pointing straight back. Place your hands on your feet and go back, one elbow at a time. Head, back of head, Shoulders, eventually whole upper body relaxed down on the floor. Bring your arms over your head. Grab your elbows and pull your elbows down against the floor. This helps to release tension, which tends to build underneath the scapula, the shoulder blade. Here you really press both shoulder blades all the way down against the floor. Keep breathing into your knees. Looks good, everybody. 
No matter what, your knees stay down on the floor. Yes, Mark, that's great what you're doing. Hands back to your feet. With the help of your elbows, gently come up and turn around. Relax on your back, 20 seconds. Letting the circulation move through your hips, knees, and ankles. Clearing out scar tissue, keeping those joints vital. Flex your feet, toes and heels together. Heels stay down on the floor. Arms over your head, cross your thumbs. Keep arms with ears. Inhale, sit up. Exhale, grab your toes. Great sit-ups. Turn around for a second set. Fixed firm pose. Sit on your heels. Open up your feet a little bit and sit right between your heels. Tops of feet flat on the floor, toes pointing straight back to protect your knees with this good alignment. Hands on your feet, go back one elbow at a time. You can just go back to where it feels good for you today. If you stay propped up on your hands or your elbows, that's great too. You can always open up the distance between your knees a little bit if that feels better for you. If you're all the way down, arms over your head, pull your elbows down, push your chest and stomach up. Breathe into your rib cage, breathe into your belly. Hands back to your feet with the help of your elbows. Come back up. Turn around and relax, Savasana. Flex your feet, toes and heels together. Arms over your head, cross your thumbs. Inhale, sit up. Exhale, grab your toes, forehead to the knees. Turn around for half tortoise pose. Sit down, kneel down position. You sit right on top of your heels here. Ankles are touching side by side under your hips. Arms over your head sideways, palms together, cross your thumbs. Chin up, stomach in, slowly stretch forward. Stomach in, stomach in, stomach in, stomach in. Good. Reach your fingertips forward and stretch your hips back. Forehead resting on the floor, pinky fingers touching the floor, the rest of your arms up off the floor in the air. Arms straight, you create that long line of traction throughout your upper body. Stretching your armpits, stretching your shoulder blades away from your rib cage. Breathe here, a couple more breaths. Keeping your stomach pulled in, slowly come up. Arms and head together. Arms down by your sides and relax on your back. Flex your feet, toes, heels together, arms over your head, cross your thumbs. Inhale, sit up. Exhale, grab the toes, head down. Turn around for camel pose. Come to the middle of your mat and stand up on your knees. Six inches between knees and feet. Place your hands on your hips, just like your hands are in your back jean pockets. Push your hips forward, drop your head back, and go back halfway. Stop in the middle, eyes open. Right hand down, grab your right heel. Left hand down, grab your left heel. Palms all the way down around your heels. You really wrap your full palm around your heels. Good. Eyes open, keep breathing, and push stomach, legs, hips, everything forward towards the front mirror. That's great, Sharon. Yes, what you're doing, you try one hand at a time. Very good, keep breathing, eyes open, push. Hands back to your hips, push your hips forward, let your head come up last, and relax, let your body just soak up how good it feels after doing camel pose. 
like a little shot of espresso. It gives you a boost of energy and good feelings with, without a crash, no side effects. <laughs> Flex your feet, toes, heels together, arms over your head, cross thumbs. Inhale, sit up. Exhale, head down. Turn around, second set. Camel pose. Stand up on your knees. Your knees six to eight inches apart, your feet six inches apart, hands on your hips. Push your hips forward, drop your head back, go back, breathe. Go back, breathe, go back, breathe. Already, this is a good back bend. Keep breathing, eyes open. Right hand down, grab your right heel. Left hand down, grab your left heel. Palms on your heels or palms on your hips if that's where you go today. Either way, it is great back bending. Keep breathing, eyes open. Push stomach, legs, hips forward, chest up high, head back your whole entire spine involved in the back bend. Keep breathing, push. When you're ready, hands back to your hips, push your hips forward, head comes up last. Turn around and relax on your back, Savasana. Flex your feet, toes, heels together, arms up. Inhale, sit up. Turn around for rabbit pose. Sit down, kneel down position in the middle of your mat. You can use your towel if you like. Grab the back of your towel, place it over your heels. Pull hard on your heels, tuck your chin to your chest, look at your stomach and slowly round down. Bring your forehead to your knees and automatically the top of your head will touch the floor. Lift your hips up until your arms become straight. Walk your knees up one by one, so knees and forehead close together, arms straight. Pull hard on your heels, push down through your knees and suck your entire abdominal wall up closer to your spine. You feel your whole spine stretching top to bottom as you push down through your knees and suck your stomach straight up. Change hips down, head up last. Great job, everybody. Nice rabbit postures. Turn around and relax on your back, Savasana. Flex your feet, toes and heels together, arms up. Big inhale, sit up. Big exhale at the end, empty your lungs. Turn around for head to knee with stretching pose. Face whichever direction works for you, right leg out and left leg in. Make sure it's only a 90 degree angle between your thighs. Push your left foot against your inner right thigh. Arms over your head, turn to the right. Grab your right foot, 10 fingers interlaced under the foot. Pull your toes back, tuck your chin to your chest, look at your stomach, round your spine and put your forehead on your knee. As always, bend the knee up to meet your forehead if you need to, so that you don't miss that unique feeling that occurs when you do touch your forehead to your knee. You can feel that circular stretch. All parts of your spine stretching, great for the lower back, forehead on the knee, stomach in, throat choked. Change. Come up and switch your legs, left leg out, right leg in. Push your foot firmly into your inner thigh, 90 degree angle between your thighs. Arms over your head, turn to the left, grab your left foot, 
pull your toes back, tuck your chin, round your spine, put your forehead onto your knee, get into that deep compression and just hold it. You let a few breaths pass here in this stillness, compression, stomach in, throat choked, elbows down. Change, very good, come on up. Both feet forward, lie down on your back and sit back up. Grab your big toes and walk your hips back, right, left, right, left, right, left. Walk your hips back so that you are tilting your pelvis forward. You are pointing your sits bones back behind you. Lift your chest up, inhale, breathing, stretch your spine forward. Pull your chest forward as you pull your toes back. Moving the top of your head towards your feet. Little by little, every little bit counts. Keep breathing, pull, chest forward, pull, breathe. Pull, change. Come on up, turn around and relax on your back. Flex your feet. Toes and heels together, arms of your head, cross thumbs. Inhale, sit up. Big exhale at the end, blast it out. Okay, let's do final posture, spine twisting. This one is a great posture for giving you energy. Energizing posture, spine twist. Bend your left knee on the floor, left heel touching beside your right hip. Bring your left heel up and over, or right heel. Right heel up and over the top of your left knee corner, both hips on the floor, spine straight. Bring your left arm up and over, push your knee out of the way. Grab your left knee with your left hand. Let go of the floor, wrap your right arm behind your back. Try to grab your inner left thigh. You can keep your right hand on the floor if you like. Suck your stomach in, lift up and twist. Twist your whole spine bottom to top so you feel lower, middle, and upper spine included in the twist. Look back, breathe, twist, breathe, twist, breathe, twist, change. Switch your feet, bend your right knee on the floor, and left heel up and over the top of your right knee corner, both hips on the floor, spine straight. Right arm up and over, push your knee out of the way, grab your right knee with your right hand, and right here, I like to look down at my right knee and my right hand and my left ankle all touching each other like one little group down on the floor. Yes, the anchor that down and then let go of the floor, wrap your left arm behind your back, grab your inner right thigh. Keep your left hand on the floor if you need to. Suck your stomach in, lift up and twist. Twist your whole spine up and out of both of your hips. Both hips down, twist up and to the left. Lower, middle, upper spine, twisting. Look back, twist, breathe, twist, breathe, twist. Change, great job. Turn around, relax on your back, savasana. Last it up, flex your feet, toes, heels together, arms over your head. Inhale, sit up. Exhale, head down. All right, let's finish up strong with Kapalabhati breathing. Sit down, kneel down position. You can sit cross-legged if that's better for you. Spine straight, chest lifted, hands on your knees. You're gonna exhale 60 times in a row. The movement of your belly pulsing in, pushes the air out. 60 strong exhales and 60 pulses of your belly. Relax your lips and begin. Nice straight spines, everyone.
Feel the movement of your belly, pushing the air out, strong blast. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. One more time, a little bit faster. Strong back, soft front. 60 powerful exhales. Begin. Five, four, three, two, one. Such a strong class, you guys. Thank you so much, all of you, for being here. Turn around and relax now. Enjoy the best part, final savasana. You can make yourself extra comfortable and just let it all go. You can close your eyes if you want. I'll stay with you here for a couple of minutes and then I'm gonna unmute everybody right before we sign off. We can all say goodbye. So just relax and let your body completely take in everything you've done. No matter how you feel throughout a class, you always, always, always feel better when it's over. So glad we're still keeping up with our practice, staying connected here. <laughs>